Fighter Zone. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Monique Sierra. How you doing today? I am doing okay. And if you don't already know me, my name is Monique. I'm a military wife. We are stationed in Grafenville, Germany. And if you are into vlogs, hauls, reviews, natural hair, all that good stuff, then you've come to the right place. So do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. And you won't regret it. Turn the notification bell because I post every Friday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And you don't want to miss it. Also, comment down below on other things y'all want to see. And I'll most definitely get into it. Y'all, so today, um, I wanted to do a little video on being a military spouse. I know um, I've been a military spouse since September 2019. Um, my hubby joined the military April 2019. We got married September 13th, 2019. And since I've been a spouse, I have learned a lot. And I wanted to answer some questions that some spouses get irritated by that we hate getting asked. We hate answering them, but I'm gonna answer them for you guys today. So let's get into this video. First first off, I, I'm in a different area. I'm in my room. Um, because my husband is in the living room where I usually record it and he's playing his game. And you know how gamers be, when they be playing, they be screaming and shit. I ain't got time for that. So I came up in here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Some of these might be some that we are irritated by answering. I will let you know. And some of them are just information that y'all would like to know. So the first question is, this one irritates me. Do you get lonely? Um, yeah, I get lonely. Um, the with my husband's MOS, he doesn't travel that much. Like some people be gone for six months at a time. He might be gone for a week at a time. He might be gone at a at a month for a time. You know, um, but he doesn't be gone six months. That's what I'm glad about. Some people don't get the don't leave at all. Like my friend husband, she said that he he doesn't leave. So I'm like, hey, he's lucky. Um, but yeah, when he is gone, like he was, he just got back last Wednesday, and um, he was gone for about 11 days, 10, 11 days. I was lonely then. Like, I literally sit in the house and be like, what the fuck? I need something to do. I don't have a car. Um, and most of Germany is closed, but it would be nice to, you know, just explore. Go on a drive, maybe. Something like that, but I can't do none of that. Um, I do have a couple of friends that I talk to, but the main one that I talk to is on a diet right now, so she can't drink, do none of that. So, I be like, what the fuck? Um, and he, he's leaving again April 1st. And he's gonna, gonna be gone for a month. And um, I'm not prepared for that because uh, I'm gonna be in this house by myself. But I am trying to make more friends so I can have game nights and stuff like that so I don't be as lonely. Okay, the next question. Oh, I'm reading this off of a website. I'm gonna put the website down in the description box and you could read, it's off somebody's blog. I, you could read what she puts down as well. Um, yeah, she answers the questions as well. Okay. Uh, what does he do for the military? So, my husband's MOS is a 12 Romeo, which is an interior electrician. Um, so basically, anytime somebody needs electrician work, he goes. He goes, do the job, blah, blah, blah. Um, but most of the time, since it's not really needed as much at the moment, he just works on cars or works in the motor pool, stuff like that. But his actual job is an interior electrician. Does he kill people? No, he doesn't kill people. Military is not all about killing people. Um, if you're in factory though, like in factory is like, how can I explain it? It's more combative than just a regular army person. 
those are the people that be deployed for six months at a time those are the people that are trained more to kill now he would probably kill if we had like a war or something but we don't we're not in war right now so he doesn't kill anybody now this one right here is irritating do you ever worry he's going to going to cheat on you no no my husband is not that type of person he sits in the house 24 8 when he's here and when he's gone he's on the phone with me 24 8 so what is he cheating how is he cheating and every time somebody you try to holler at him or something he's always telling me not every military guy is a cheater that's something that's a myth that's something that a lot of people get out of military men or military women it's not always like that um you just have to find the right one there are some thoughts out here now i ain't gonna lie but um you just have to find the right one and then me and him been together april 11th makes seven years and i never had that problem with him ever okay so this one right here like really are you guys rich are you guys poor how much does he make we're not rich <laughs> okay and my husband is a e3 he's about to be e4 next month um we're not rich you just have we're not poor either we're in a good state right now we're in a good state but we're not at the point where we want to be you know um i'm currently in school i can't do much out here in germany because you have to know german to work most jobs but when i get home i will most definitely be finding me a good looking job you know so i can make my own money as well um and by him being an e3 and i'm married to him he makes about maybe five thousand a month which isn't bad um and he will be getting promoted next month so it's gonna go higher um but that's not that's not rich shit so don't ever think they were rich um it's not that it's not that at all do you get everything for free um no he has to pay for his uniforms okay they they give him uniforms they give you uniforms when you first enter the army but after that you have to start paying for them and they're expensive as fuck so you have to um if you get military uniforms and say you gain weight or something just be prepared to spend some money hands down they are a lot i just thought i'd let you know out of that um we do get you do get food free if you're um a single soldier i think married soldiers can go there too i'm not for sure though i might i might be wrong i might be right i'm not sure if somebody in the comments just let me know um there is a place called a defect it's like the cafeteria for the military you get free food well it's not really free actually they take money out your check like four hundred dollars of each check i believe for the defect um but once you become a married soldier they don't deduct it out your check anymore they give you they give you money so you could buy groceries they give you extra money i forgot the term for it um but they do give you extra money to buy groceries if you're a married soldier you get free school well yeah they give you free school um free benefits stuff like that but if you want things like a car if you want like cell phone stuff like that you have to pay that yourself they're not gonna just give you everything for free you feel me so that's the answer on that one do you get free housing okay so that depends on where you're at like where we're at now we live on post in graffinville and we don't pay no bills with the housing some places you go off post maybe you might want to live in a private area or something like that they will give you bah they will help with it they won't let you have it like for fully free you feel me you have to be responsible as well and then the next question is do you have to live on base some places yes some places no like where we're at we don't have to live on base but we just why are you scare my baby like that? 
husband vibes, okay? Do you have to live on base? No, you do not. Like where I'm at, you're not required to live on base. Some places, maybe some places on other parts of the overseas areas, you have to live on base, but this place you do not. Do you guys ever talk when he's deployed? Yes, um, most of the time. There are, there was one time he was in the field for about two weeks and he couldn't have his phone at all. And that shit was stressful. I couldn't talk to him. I was so happy. Um, but if you're a new military wife and your husband has went to basic training, you know, depending on his company, he won't have his phone at all. Them whole 12 weeks, 10 weeks. I can't remember at the moment, but he would not have his phone so you just have to deal with it find something to do start school when he went to basic training that's when i started youtube i was like i'm gonna start doing youtube see where i can get with it and stuff like that because i didn't have nothing else to do i was working but that me at work i'm just sitting there depressed like i needed to find something else to do so yeah just Find you something else to do if you can't talk to them. But now I could talk to him. Like, I don't know how it's gonna be when he leave next month. But these past few times he's been leaving, I've been able to talk to him. This one right here is irritating. Are you afraid he's going to die? I'm, I don't even wanna talk about that. But the answer is yes. If, like, if we was to go into war, like, I would be so afraid. But that's the end of that answer. Another question is when does he plan to get out? Um, he plans to make this a career, so 20 years. He wants to stay in for the full 20. Um, as of now, he's been in the military. He's gonna hit tw two years. So, 18 more. <laughs> the last question that I think I'm gonna answer is, what is it like being married to a military person? Um, I mean, it's cool. It's a different experience. Um, I mean, I love this boy with all my heart. We've been together for so long and I was hurt when he went to the military in 2019, but he wants to better our lives. He wants to be like really financially stable when we plan to have kids after we leave Germany and you know you have to respect him like I respect him so much for that um it's just me being away from family and friends can be disappointing it can be dep depressing because I'm like people know me and they know I'm not really a social person. So making friends here is kind of hard. I just miss that. But it, it's cool to, you know, travel and stuff like that. Like we're here in Germany. Once everything open up, we will be traveling more. Um, I'm going to London for my birthday. So be prepared for that vlog for that weekend. Ah! But yeah, it's fun to travel, stuff like that. And you just have to make the best of it. I feel bad for the people that don't make it with their spouses. Some people get divorced a lot, but you just have to push through. Yeah. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said before, Please like, share, and subscribe if you won't regret it. Turn the notification bell because I post every Friday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time and you do not want to miss it. Uh, comment down below other things y'all want to see and I'll do it. Um, if y'all want me to do like more military videos, um, I did have a military like... I have a playlist with a lot of military information if y'all want to check that out. I can put that up here in the informations. Um, I, but yeah, if y'all want to know more, I seem like I'm a little um, educated on the military life. If y'all want to know more, then I got y'all. I got y'all. Just comment. 
which I don't know. Um, email me if y'all have any questions. Contact me on my social medias. Um, I don't ever put this in my video, but I do make intros. Um, if y'all want to check those out. Um, yeah. And then to further ado, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I just be rolling, cause it be toting. Driving my car like it's stolen. All of my weed to be potent. Have you floating? Catch up and sucking and choking. All of this weed I be talking, you know I be smoking. All of my diamond be frozen. I start working through the night. Got your girl and she won't pipe. But she gotta stay one night. Fuck it, she just sits on light. Put the lean, no ice. Fuck it, fuck no wife. Only fear God that's right. And I might take your life. Make a nigga see the light. Make a nigga have no life. Stay real sharp like a knife. I always stick a big pipe. I only sleepless nights.